Yay, so I've got great news, everyone. Um, a final port of Lollipop is finally out, so we can install 5.1.1 Lollipop on our Android Wear device. Well, Citizen device. So this is an update. Uh, as you've seen, we have made it with KitKat several times. Yesterday, th there was another update video, but this one will be... I will show you how to install it from Tizen to to Wear, but you can do it from our previous version of Wear also. It doesn't matter. Just follow the same, st same steps, okay? So, as always, just download the files in the description. Again, it's everything compressed into one file, so we will put into recovery. There, go to download mode. Great, now let's start the flashing. Okay, so we will connect our device, we will install the drivers, we will open Odin, and we will click on IP, select our file that we just downloaded, click auto reboot and that frees the time, and now let's start. Boom. Once finished, our device will reboot and we might to ha might have to do a factory reset. So yeah, it went into recovery, so we have to do wipe and factory reset. Now we'll let it finish. Cool, complete it, go back, reboot, system. And here we go. The first boot might take a while because of the update, but we'll just wait. Hello, everyone. Here, finally my watch finished booting. It took like 10 minutes, it was crazy, then I it up it also took a while um, 
but I, it's finally finished. So now, as you can see, I have a Bang & Olufsen oh, this focused, oh, more or less. Yeah, I have a Bang & Olufsen watch face, which is really cool. It changes throughout the day. Right now, it's like black because it's the night. Uh, I also have my weather cards. So now every single watch face works, even custom ones like this one is third party. I have other ones like this one is really fancy. I like it. This one comes built in, but it didn't used to work. Now it works. All of them work. I also have another one called String Theory. Very nice. You can get it on the Google Play Store. If I were to find it, here it is. That looks quite nice. I think I'll leave it this way. Okay, so my point is that, that now pretty much everything works. Notifications work. Well, oh yeah, I have a notification. I have a weather notification. It works perfectly. I don't have any more. My weekly weather, all the buttons work. Uh, I don't know if I can do it, but the gestures work. Like, yeah, it doesn't really quite work without it on my wrist, but I can kind of try to do it. Yeah. Wow. Okay, more or less. But in the wrist works just fine. You have the new app launcher, which you can access by tapping. It doesn't take you to the microphone. It takes you to the app launcher. Uh, you have various apps like Google Maps. This one is awesome, in my opinion. Here, it locates you perfectly. Uh, navigation works, zoom works. You can also multi-touch to zoom. Yeah, it's pretty detailed. You can't tell, but there's names on those streets. Okay, you can't tell. You see, it's pretty cool, actually. If you tap here is to navigate to suggested places. If I manage to tap, yeah. So yeah, I have like many suggested places to travel or locate myself. It's pretty great. Um, so well, that's it on Lollipop. Again, don't use the always on screen because it crashes. The kernel will crash and the screen will go white and with pixels. It's very weird. You have the notif new notifications bar. You can choose between, between all, priority or none for notifications. You have theater mode. With this enabled, the tilt to wake won't work. I mean, it's stopped. Uh, bright brightness boost, this one doesn't work because we don't have control over brightness. So in theory, it's at max, but it did nothing. Um, you can access your settings. And we have way more settings right now, like Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is either not working, well, it's not working, and I'm not sure it will be working because I don't I don't know if we have an antenna. I think we don't. As well as Compass. We have a Compass app. Or we used to have it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we removed it. But we don't have a Compass either, so we can't do it. Great. So if you have the camera version of the gear, uh, the camera doesn't work. We, we don't know if... It's possible because none of the current Android Wear devices have a camera. The use one has an IR blaster. Uh, that one doesn't work either, but we are still working. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's what's working on Lollipop. Good luck. Hey.